zijn in Lusaka, de hoofdstad van Zambia. Een stad met ruim 1,7 miljoen inwoners. En dit is Angela. Vanuit haar eigen Kondwa weeshuis coördineert zij voor Orange Babies de nieuwe projecten in Zambia. I was inspired to start Kondwa Day Center for Orphans through my community work in home based care in 1997. And at that time there were no ARVs, no nothing. So people were dying like flies. In Zambia zijn 1,1 miljoen volwassenen en kinderen besmet met HIV. Dat is maar liefst 1 op de 7 mensen. Angela neemt ons mee naar een buitenwijk van Lusaka, naar het Heal Project... wat wordt gesteund vanuit het Orange Babies Child Care programma. Dit weeshuis wordt geleid door Jeannie. Hier wonen onze weeskinderen, die tijdens de zwangerschap via de moeder besmet zijn met HIV. Het jongste weesje dat hier woont is pas één jaar oud. En de little boy hier is Momo. His mother was working with me in a support group of women living with HIV and AIDS. She got too sick and she passed away. Momo was a few weeks after she died. Momo's condition also was bad because he was also tested HIV positive. Then when he started the treatment, then I said he can come to my house. That's how he found himself here. In ons weeshuis wonen ook Zulia van 12 en Natasha van 14. Beiden HIV positief door overdracht van het virus tijdens de zwangerschap. My mother died when I was a little girl. I, I, I became sick. I came here and she, she told that I'm HIV positive. That's when I lived here. My mom died with HIV. And, and then Jean took me to the clinic to get some medicine. Baba brings some money to take me to the hospital. I will never forget what Baba did for me. That's why I love Baba. He's so kind. The orange babies help us with many things. Without the help, I'm not here. And the orange babies have been very helpful because they get their meal, they are able to go to school and even to get their medication, it's easy. And also for the nutrition, because Momo, when he came here, he was malnourished. He had swollen legs. As you can see them now, they are, they are not yet. So, and then here, the, the, the support that we are getting with the, from the Orange Babies is helping us to take them to school and improving their well-being and also give them the self-esteem, as you can see. They are happy and they, they are now, they just look like any other children. Met het geld dat Orange Babies werft, kunnen steeds meer weeskinderen worden opgevangen. Het Orange Babies Child Care programma geeft onderdak, voeding, medicatie en onderwijs aan onze weeskinderen. Naast het Child Care programma werkt Orange Babies aan de bron van de besmetting vanuit het Child Protect programma. Het doel van Orange Babies is het aantal moeder op kind besmettingen terug te brengen van boven de 30% tot onder de 2% in vijf jaar tijd. Dat is onze belofte aan de community. Child Protect programma aims at the unborn baby and the newborn baby up to 18 months to protect the baby from getting the virus from the mother. And we do that in collaboration with the clinic. We are at the Ngombe Health Center, which is uh, the only government health center we have in the community. If the woman is found HIV positive, the government automatically puts that woman on ARVs. Basically, it's to help the unborn baby. They provide the medication, but they do not provide the nutrition. So this is where uh, Orange Babies comes in. Orange Babies provides nutrition as also counseling and uh, educating to tell the mother that if they follow the doctor's instructions, there is a high chance of protecting the baby from getting the virus from the mother. So from the time the baby is born, automatically is put on education, developing. They should run the six months exclusive breastfeeding. 
continuing taking the medication. After that, when it's one year, six months, then we are sure through the pro program Orange Babies has put in place that the baby is healthy and free from HIV and live a normal life. That's why now we say, okay, mother, look after the baby. De belangrijkste manier om de weeskinderen uit een moeilijke situatie te krijgen... is ze toegang te geven tot onderwijs. Alleen het Orange Babies Child Care programma maakt dat mogelijk. Op onze Pacatiele school ontmoeten we Moses. Moses comes from a very traumatizing background. Because when their parents died, no member of the family was prepared to take all of them in. Moses landed in with their grandparents. Now Moses is HIV positive. And he doesn't hide it. He's on medication. He is very, very traumatized at home. I think that I am HIV positive. I can die any day or any month. The grandparents can see no future in him because of his HIV status. They think he's going to die any time. Me, I don't want. It touches my heart. To hear a small boy like him, it really makes me feel very sad that somebody out there can be so unkind. When here they are getting free education and we are giving the children breakfast and lunch, so I, I don't know. It makes me feel very sad. Yeah. I'm good in mathematics and to be an accountant. Orange Babies heeft als droom om nog meer kinderen als Moses te kunnen helpen met educatie, voeding en onderdak. I thank God and I should say I thank Baba. It took him two years to convince me to open a boys home. So now we have started building what we call Seco Village. We are going to take in both boys and girls up to the age of Moses because he needs the help. He is our number one client for Seco Village. The Pullman Foundation betaalt volledig dit nieuwe Seco huis. I live on hope every day that things will be better tomorrow. And that's what keeps me going. Um, I always look to tomorrow to be better than yesterday or to be better than today. So my hope is even though um, sustainability is my biggest challenge, I still have hope that the project will go on.